today we are here in our let's play minecraft world for and that's glitching out a little bit but for the fourth episode of our series so um <clears throat> as you may see we're in our our nice uh base or uh, like outpost and um as you can see I have remodeled it. So here is the chicken farm. I have a bunch of chickens that are producing a bunch of chicken. <laughs> and then I have my uh, enchantment table which I moved and all that. And um, yeah, so I have a pickaxe here that I actually created so that I can get silk touch once I get to level 30. Which um, each time I get close enough, uh, I either die or something like that so yeah it's not not that great for me but I am continue I'm gonna continue trying here's my room and I'll give you guys a look from the outside oh almost forgot I have a storage area now here with armor weapons and um, as you might notice um, we are actually playing in Minecraft 1.9 so there's a bunch of features in Minecraft 1.9 that I am going to talk about today. Plus, um, we're going to be also talking about uh, the spawn chunks. Yeah, the spawn chunks. So, and also we're going to see uh, Blaze Farm and what I was able to do with that because there is something that they changed in. 1.9 and um, now blazes cannot um, blazes have to be killed by the player to uh, like give drops and I think that's actually for all the mobs now all the mobs have to be killed by the player so if they're burning to death with just by the sun I don't think that they will drop any loot or any uh, drops you know so yeah so I'm just going to show you guys what I've been working on other than remodeling this place and as you can see I tried to make a nice little stairway nice thing here oh also sad story my villager here since 1.9 they s villagers can starve to death and that's what happened to my villager here, which is kind of weird because he had all the... Oh, a creeper. Nope, 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 no. no. Oh, oh. I'm so dead. Okay, let's lure him away. Lure him away, lure him away. Away from the chicken farm. Away from my house. Oh, man, this is going to be... This is going to end badly. Don't blow up, don't blow up. Uh, no! Uh, well, at least it didn't ruin any of my house. But, um, as you may have noticed, uh, Creeper did not die in, like, within three hits. I actually hit it about five to six times, and it still didn't die. And that's because, if you didn't know, 1.9, which I'm pretty sure everyone knows, is actually the combat update which means that all the combat has been regulated so swords have actually been decreased power mobs have been increased so skeletons in my opinion are now one of the worst that you can actually uh, have to face because they are not only ranged but now all the mobs um, can actually hit you if they're close to you I think well I know that about blazes because I, I actually uh, lost my looting sword to a blaze if you notice I only have an iron sword and this is not my uh, I created another sword or another pick it was called the second pick and that was also lost plus my firefly blow bow was actually lost on a death beforehand and uh, so I had lost it but then I had another bow that I just put power 2 on and that also I lost so pretty much I have no bow 
Um, and I have an iron sword. So, yep. That's pretty much it. Then let's go to the spawn chunks since uh, I did a lot of work on that. I uh, normally bring my horse there. It's a lot faster than walking there by foot. So yeah, I think that uh, so far it's doing pretty well. If you don't know what spawn chunks are, um, pretty much where you spawn in the world, you're but you're normally between a hundred block. It, well, it the spawn chunk is not zero zero. It does not start in the middle of zero zero, which is kind of weird when you think about it. But actually. Uh, it where you spawn, it's uh, near the spawn chunk center. I think it could be like a few blocks off the, but pretty much it's this spawn chunk area. If only this chunk would load. So pretty much, if you didn't know what a spawn chunk is, and my computer is having problems, so you might not uh, believe this, but actually it is a chunk or chunks it's a, a compilation of either 12 or 16 I can't remember exactly of chunks that are um, always loaded and even I think even when the game is turned off when you're not even playing the game and there is like some serious problems with this like I don't even know what is going on here? Okay, it's starting to load. Okay. It's supposed to be already loaded in, but like my lag is so bad that it just like wipes all of it. So if if you remember the first episode, if you watch the first episode of uh, my Minecraft Let's Play, then you will have n you would know that I actually spawned right about no, right, right there actually. Where there, there's, there's actually a um, rav like ravine under it. So I think I I spawned like right here, the first time. I think, yeah. So pretty much that, um, the exact center, I think is, uh, this block this block, this block, and this block. So the spawn center is actually a point in the middle. It's not actually a block because every chunk is made of 16 blocks. So how can you really put even an even number of blocks as a chunk center, you know? So it's a bunch of, com it's a compilation of multiple chunks. And um, yeah, so I want to use these chunks to be able to grow farms as I think 1.9 allows that now. I don't know if it was the case for, excuse me, for 1.8, but I think in 1.9 you can actually grow farms, and it will grow when you're not in the chunk because the chunk is always loaded. So pretty much, I've been just flattening out this this area and um, removing all the trees. As you can see, you probably noticed that where I spawned was like dead center in a forest and so I have removed so many trees that I'm pretty sure that I can say that I will never really need to go chopping down trees again I don't know do I have extra here no but there's more at my base but it's just crazy talking about base that is actually not my base I don't know why I keep saying that but that is actually just another outpost that I'm debating on whether I should have it as my base or if I should actually make a base in the spawn chunk. So you guys should tell me in uh, the comments below if you're watching this on YouTube that you you guys should tell me on the comments also if you're watching this on Twitch you should put it in the chat. Tell me what you guys think where you guys think I should make a base. Is Should I make it here or should I make it over there in well, where I already have structure. So you guys should tell me that. Right here I have a cactus farm and it's producing quite well. 
Uh, it's only been around a little bit, and yeah, so I'm kind of happy about this cactus farm. I can make, I can mass produce multiple farms right here. Um, the wheat farm, I kind of forgot about the spawn chunks, and a lot of people were saying that spawn chunks you can't really grow food. But when I looked it up on the on a uh, Minecraft like documentation thing, it said that a Minecraft wiki it said that it's actually good for planting crops. So I'm I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But yeah, so pretty much what I have in mind is I'll have multiple farms and things that go down and if you're wondering, if you first I'm going to talk about the um 1.9 updates before I forget because a lot of things are going to be uh based on that. So if I can make myself a shovel, just a normal shovel. And uh this also works for a hoe. If you right click on a grass block, I, I think hoe does that. I'm not sure. Maybe just shovel. But anyway, when you right click, it makes this dirt path, which in my opinion is pretty awesome. I, I like this dirt path a lot. And you can kind of see like the texture where it's like uh, as if you were walking on this a lot. So I really like that. And um, a cool thing is that if you look very, very, very closely, you can see that those grass blocks are actually out a bit. So this is less than a full block, which means that, and you can kind of feel it when I go up and down. Yeah. So actually, monsters cannot spawn on these pads, which is pretty awesome. And they don't despawn, which is really great. So like, if you were trying to use uh, farmland to uh, try to make monsters not spawn on your area, and then when you jump on it, though, it becomes a normal dirt block well now you have uh, you have the answer to what you need to be done and now they will not spawn on these which is great so it's pretty much bad guys won't be on the paths Oop, put that wrong okay <clears throat> so uh, second thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is uh, the hand manipulation so pretty much I can change the different hands that I put it in and it, when it's in this hand I can use it well I guess not a shovel I guess I can't use the shovel but if or a sword that's weird or a pickaxe well anyway I can use a shield for sure and it's getting, getting nighttime so I'm just gonna go and sleep for a few seconds and so yeah a shield is super helpful because now if you didn't know a sword can no longer block like I'm clicking what normally is block although I, d I never really saw a purpose for block in the first place but now uh, you have a shield, and when you click block, it'll block with this hand, which is super, super useful. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, you can see that I have an iron uh, sword. I actually lost the looting sword. Um, well, didn't lose it, but uh, it was. Uh, I died, and it pretty much it burned up in lava. So, yeah. So, pretty much, I am using uh, this iron sword for now. And, uh, yeah. And then, same thing happened to my bow and my pickaxe. They both broke also. Or, they didn't break, but they were burned also. Although, the firefly bow was actually destroyed by the blaze when one ablaze while I was setting up the spawner. And uh, one thing about the spawner is that uh, 
actually now it does not 1.9 has they fix I guess a bug or something or they make it like impossible now that you can now you can no longer have maybe it's a bug yeah it's probably a bug that you can't have entities in a minecart like as easily you can still get them in but you have to push them in and uh, if you didn't know every entity now has a uh, like a push to them so let's let's free my hand just so that you don't think it's anything special but you see I'm trying to push against my horse and it's not letting me go through him it's like it's pushing him out of the way or pushing me out of the way and so this now makes it super complicated because it's seeing two entities that are colliding and instead of letting it go through the minecart and into the minecart and like pretty much put its seatbelt on now it is pretty much saying you can't you can't hit or you can't capture this mob so it bounces off of it as if it was a block or a player which complicates things so uh, if I were to get to my uh, to the uh, little like the little starter base that I started uh, we'll go into the nether and see what I actually did oh what happened what I actually did to try to fix that problem um, yet now with being able to push uh, players and stuff these chunks are horrible I'm so sorry for the lag it's this is super bad lag but now instead of just shooting fire and I think they could only shoot fire in the past I can't I'm not too sure don't quote me on that but now they can actually bump into you and cause damage which makes it even harder now so yeah it's pretty pretty hard to kill them and I've died actually a few times not by their fireballs but by them ramming into me which is kinda kinda funny um, just gonna get over here also I tamed a bunch of other donkeys since the last video I also well, uh, you'll see, guys. You guys will see in a few seconds. Um, I don't want to take my armor because last time I took armor, I lost it all. At least I wasn't wearing this armor. Um, let's see. I'm, I need to put this in blocks. Um. Yeah, I think the rest I, c I can go with. Should I bring my pickaxe? Yeah, I'll bring my pickaxe. Okay, so pretty much um, I redesigned a lot of the stuff and of the base, as I said earlier. And now I moved the crafting table to another location. And hopefully it's better. So I'm trying to get to level 30 so that I can get some silk touch and fortune that way because I am running out of diamonds I have like maybe seven diamonds and so here is my little donkey that I told you guys that I had lost but then I actually kept hearing noises like right right around here or like actually like right around here and I think I told you guys that in maybe the second episode and I was like what in the world is this I actually decided to check it out and it turns out that he was there the whole time so yeah that was kinda kinda weird so I, I he was like trapped though inside not inside a block but like between blocks and it was like hard for him to get out okay so I'm putting this shield on it's gonna be extremely hard without any armor I should have should have put an iron chest plate on and think about that could have uh, put the en enchantment book of protection on it should have done that but anyway if this lag would stop oh there's a gas there's gas oh there's two there are two gas oh my goodness 
Oh my goodness, and I can't really see because the chunks are not loading, and I feel like I'm going to die any second now. But... Wait, where are they? That's weird. Okay. Long. So they don't attack me. I should be fine. Okay, so pretty much I made this thing right here, and there's a spawner right up there. And are there any blaze that have spawned yet? No. I'm going to replace this with uh, with glass. I just haven't got to it yet. Hopefully there won't be any that spawn on there. I haven't completely sealed it off, I don't think. So I'm going to have to work on that. And... Uh, yeah, once I have Silk Touch, though, I'm going to take the spawner, actually, and I'm going to move it onto the um, the overworld, because I was testing a few things for 1.9, and I realized that water was the best way to actually move them in 1.9, and it actually deals damage, and then the ones that survive, you can just punch them, and normally it will be better. So if I can get a silk touch, that would be awesome. But where are all these blaze? Where are you guys? You don't don't want a piece of me? I think you're too scared, that's why. Oh, maybe there's too much light. Was there why is there so much light? I'm not sure. There's something weird. There's too much light coming from somewhere. Oh, what is that? Oh, nothing. Okay. Um, where are these blazes? Did I did I put it? Oh, there's a blaze right there. And he's trying to shoot me. Wow, great. Okay. Um. Okay, just get in this corner. Try to lure him in. Whoa! What? What in the world? Well, he has been lured. Well, not really, but... Come on, dude. You know you want to fight me. Don't even pretend that you don't want to. Come on. You know. You know you want to. Come on. Come down. I'm going to have to get a way to make them come down. Uh, one, If there's a lot of them, they normally will come down. Oh, here's a guy. There he is. Oh, you're not going to get angry with me. No, you're not. Uh-uh. You see, he tried to shoot me. Oh, he's dealing so much damage. Wow. I'm getting out of here. I'm, I'm going to die. The, what they have to do is allow um, shields to be enchanted. That way I can have special protection on it. Also, uh, now for healing, it takes food uh, away like a lot quicker. It's crazy. But like this, are you going to get mad at me? Oh, yeah, you are. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Oh, you think you're so tough? Come down here. Where is he? Why doesn't he come down? Oh, I think he's trapped. I have to seal that hole. Whoa. What? What was that? Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to fight me. Come on. Come on. Come on! Get me already! He's like not gonna attack me. This is so weird. The thing is that I'm kind of worried because if not a lot spawn... Oh, yep. That's what I was worried about. 
Yeah, I'm leaving. See ya, have a nice day. If only I had a bow. Okay. But, do not worry. I'm just gonna go into this nether portal and block. Hopefully, I won't get hit. Okay. Good. Yeah, so, all the mobs have pretty much been opt. Like, they're crazy powerful now. They just, like, go through you so easily. And I did not bring a a bed. Great. Well, that, that block's going through. Whatever. Here I have a little pig farm that never actually worked. I was trying to use the idea of the chicken farm, except the only difference is that the chicken baby chickens are half a block while adults are one block uh, high. And so I thought that it was the same for this, but it seems like they just float and it doesn't, they don't drop down, they don't, I guess the, I guess the bacon's smarter than the chicken. Because like they, they don't think that the half slab is like a, uh, a block. Also, I have a little villager dude right there. He's a farmer, so I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to use, um, don't even think about leaving. Okay, we should be safe here. Close that door. Hey! You heard me? Stop! Stop! Hey. Ah. E. Ah. Oh. Okay, he's just opening doors. Okay, I think to breed them you need three bread. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I don't know. Pick that up, okay, and then you're going to pick that up, okay, and I'm just going to be over here, hiding behind my shield. They're socializing, and still opening doors. Okay, are there going to be love particles, or no? Come on. Okay. Um, another thing I learned about villagers is that they um they actually cannot be you le leads cannot be used on them, which I thought they could be, but I guess they can. So whoa! Did you see that? What in the world was that? That carrot right there just flew out. Oh, he's trying to give them food. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. These little guys, they harvest food and they give it to other villagers that are in need. And that's kind of like an auto... Uh, like, auto... What's it called? not brewing like breeding system yeah he's giving him carrots or is it the or is it yeah it's him giving carrots that is so weird okay um will what are you trading sir you're a librarian you trade flame. Oh yeah, I think I pushed you in here. And you're a butcher. Yep, and he's a farmer. So I like this flame. I, I want to use it. I'm going to get it. But um, I'm going to need 15 emeralds. Also looting three, I'm going to have to find that villager again in the village, which is over there in that direction. And uh, Okay, is there still a little guy? Yep, the little guy's still there. And so, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Good, they're gonna... We'll have more... More villagers. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, because 
I started building this village. Um, I think I showed it to you guys in the last episode. Oh, sorry, sorry, didn't. Okay, in the last episode, and so pretty much I need a bunch of villagers though to uh, get to breed and then have a giant city and at the heart have a giant um, iron golem farm and so pretty much that's what I want to do because I am kind of, I, I'm not running out of iron now but I was earlier and I don't want to run out of iron at all even later on even if I do have iron, it's always nice to have more because hoppers and I think pistons need iron too. So just to, to make all that, I would really, really like to have some uh, some iron. Yes. Oh, I'm like opening that. So, yeah. This night is like pretty long. I'm actually gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna mine to. What I'm gonna do is I need to. Make sure that they won't come in. Okay, that should block them off. And that way I can actually mine here oop uh oh oh no there and then I can just do okay that didn't work um I'll just jump up and there that way I can just mine this and uh get some stuff that I can start smelting actually and that way I can actually get some glass if I can turn the the uh, floor into instead of sand into cobblestone or sandstone that'd be perfect um, another thing is I'm gonna need to be able to get to level 30 a lot quicker so the blaze is supposed to give off the most XP, I guess. Um, so I'm I really wanted to make a blaze farm, but okay, they're still alive. I was kind of worried that they might have suffocated or something. Don't mind me, just doing a little maintenance on the premises. Okay just going to take out the floor and oh, whoa that like shot up as long as they don't come and go in that's fine okay don't even think about it okay so I think I think I like I can let them out now so I'm just gonna take out this here now that they're gonna breed more I am fine with them going out um, the villager or the farmer dude I don't really want him doing the farming though right now but I don't really think I have a choice I might have to wait for the next farmer that way the auto breeding can start happening um, I don't know. Anyway. Also, this pig... Uh, this pig... Uh, what is it called? Breeding system, like food system. It's not very operational, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to fix that and make it a more operational uh, like farm. So... I'll give you guys the tour of this um, this little city that I'm building. Here is a shack. It's a very nice and roomy <laughs> house. And then over here, there's the uh, another house that 
yeah, I just started building. I forgot I had didn't have enough of those, but that's supposed to go there. This is going to be another house eventually. This is the supposed to be the blacksmith's house, and I think blacksmiths can actually tell if there's a furnace in there, so I think they know which one is theirs. I don't know. Then there's this house, which it has stairs, and villagers can actually understand stairs. So they, they actually go upstairs and downstairs, and it's pretty cool. And then there's more doors, and so the more doors you have, the more they're going to be willing to breed, supposedly. And sometimes they'll even breed automatically. I think 1.9 actually just introduced that they'll breed automatically. And hopefully there won't be any creatures in here, mobs. Nope. Nope. Okay, I'm safe. So yeah, um, pretty much this episode was to really fill you guys in and what I've been doing. In the next episode, I really want to um, redesign maybe not this maybe not right away but what I want to redesign is actually the uh, little my base like well not redesign my base but make my base and so once I can I'll decide what I actually want to build and hopefully it'll be something pretty epic and so you guys can give me suggestions in the comments below I always look at the comments uh, and also, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, also, if it, please leave a like if you guys like this video. Subscribe if you're watching on my YouTube, and uh, follow us if you're watching on twi on our Twitch. Um, there'll be our Twitter, our Instagram links in the description. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. And. Uh, the shield just so awesome.